Nonprofit is really about allowing the small storage operators to compete with the larger operators. You know, we want to kind of advance the storage industry from where they are today. Simplify that process, you know, like, like what Priceline did to hotels, that kind of thing. Self-storage is incredibly sexy. Uh, no, it, it's not, but what self-storage is, it's a $25 billion industry, which makes it lar larger than Hollywood, actually. Um, I joined Sparefoot uh, last year, around this time, during South By. It seemed like new problems to solve in places where I could immediately add value. Everybody is very uh, invested in their work. Um, but at the same time, they don't take themselves too seriously. We absolutely have the best team and the best culture, and those two go hand in hand. I've worked at other startups. The one thing I can say here is that the culture is great, the transparency. We know everything that's going on. Sparefoot has a lot more like ownership and autonomy. We believe teams are really important, so we put all our developers in small teams. Those teams are extremely autonomous, they're extremely, like, they're really kind of intimate teams where people get to know each other and their quirks really, really well. Every time we hire somebody, you know, we want them to be smarter than we are, more fun than we are, more accomplished than we are. You know, we always want to step it up. Anytime during the week, if you need to do stuff, there's nobody watching over your shoulder. You go, you do what you need to do. We try to avoid all the crap you hear about at other companies. There's no micromanagement anything like that. There's a lot of opportunities for new technologies. I can take our entire spare foot stack with me on the train. Some of the technologies that I'm really happy to be working with on a daily basis are things like uh, Docker and uh, Bamboo, which is our continuous integration platform, and sort of uh, melding those two things together to get us to a point where we can actually start to play around with continuous delivery. The tech stack that we use is that it's kind of it's still being defined on some level, and people are very open to new suggestions. With the industry being so fragmented, we have lots of different sources to get the, the storage data. So we do about half of our revenue through our call center. So anywhere that we can make that operation more efficient um, is a big win for the company. So we've uh, employed some machine learning techniques to actually identify phone calls, classify them, and deflect them from our call center if they're not people who are actually looking to book storage. It's about launching as many small iterative A-B tests as you possibly can and having a whole organization built around that. We've introduced the concept of SEO A-B testing. Well, hey, you can try this tool. And this tool, you know, save everyone's time and they're willing to try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You can start doing something and watch it sort of spread across the entire network. I think that's really cool. Like being able to sort of do something and then immediately see the impact of it is very rewarding for me. I had been in the community trying to host uh, girl development classes and been, we've been trying to do them around like various offices. We've been hosting classes here for um, almost two years now. We're a really nice hedge between um, getting to do the exciting fun stuff that a startup allows um, with sort of the security of a well-proven business model. The biggest perk for me here at Sparefoot is the full healthcare coverage for me and my family. The philosophy is we try to make it so that you don't have to worry about all the other stuff in your life. Yeah, I think my favorite spare foot perk is like the location. We got folks that don't own cars because we're downtown. They can live downtown and walk to work or they do car to go or they do B-cycle or they take the train or they take the bus. You know, the green belt that runs right through the, uh, the center of, of uh, Austin. Um, also a big home brewer and there's a big uh, home brewing scene here in Austin. Um, there's some like really good climbing within the city and then, you know, there's like watering holes in the city limits. I like all of the dogs. There's like every kind of dog. <laughs> right, I want to just work from home because it's nice out and as long as I'm in communication with my team, it's it's cool with everyone. Sparefoot is going to succeed because there's just so much momentum behind the self-storage space, which I think is um, oftentimes in a startup, uh, 90% of the battle is making sure that you're in a space that's growing. And it's a new industry. We're leading the way. There's nobody else out there, but that still doesn't let us get complacent. They're injecting technology in a place where it's needed. I think Sparefoot, we've got the right timing, the right opportunity, and the right market, and with a little bit of luck, we'll get there.